Hi, I'm Marina McGrath. I work for Jefferson County Public School District in Louisville. We're the largest and most diverse district in Kentucky. I provide professional developments to middle school teachers and focus on strategies that can be enhanced with Google Apps as well as supports found in G Suite for diverse learners. I was born and raised in St. Petersburg, Russia, and I speak Russian, English, and French. As someone who knows firsthand how challenging learning a second language can be, I find Google G Suite to be extremely valuable to all learners. I teach part-time at the University of Louisville, and yes, college-level classes can be fun too when you have Google. I use G Suite, and I tell you, it makes a huge difference. In my free time, I collaborate with a high school instructional coach. We create and share resources with teachers worldwide. I am thrilled to show you how I use Google to help teachers create a welcoming environment for their English language learners. If you want to create a visual of all the countries represented in your school or your classroom, Google Data Studio is the perfect dashboard to use. So first you will need to go to Google Sheets and create a blank spreadsheet with two columns, countries and number of students. Then you will need to go to Google Data Studio and start a new report by clicking on the plus button. Then, this step is very important, you will need to click on Create New Data Source and this is the page you will see. Once on this page, you will need to scroll down and select Google Sheets. This may take a few seconds because Data Studio needs to connect to your Google Sheet, the one that you just created. So here is the list of everything I have, but I need this one, the very top one. So I click on it and I click on Connect. You have to be patient. It may take a few seconds, but eventually you will see the screen. You will need to click on Add to Report and then Add to Report again. And here is your report. You will need to go to Insert and select the GeoMap. Then you will need to click on Countries right here and then drag it into this spot, pink spot, dimension. And voila, here is your map. You can make it bigger. And if you don't like the color, this particular color blue, you can change colors. In the end, you will see an amazing report that you will be able to share with your students, with other teachers in the building, with community members, voila, there's the map of all the countries represented in my school.